Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, apologies for not posting on here for like two weeks, but I didn't completely forget about you guys because I actually uploaded two new vlogs onto my second channel, which is Beyond Beauty Star TV. Rest in peace, Beyond Beauty Star. But I will have both of them linked right over here. So, I actually vlogged while I was in London for BeautyCon London. It was my first time going there, so that was really exciting. And I also uploaded a vlog from my recent Bahama trip that I went with a bunch of other YouTubers, so you can click over here if you guys want to see that. I swam with sharks and reunited with a bunch of YouTubers, and it was just a really great time. So if you guys want to check out those vlogs, I will have them on the screen, as well as in the down bar, of course. But today's video is a Q&A. So I tweeted you guys asking for you to send me questions with the hashtag AskClaudia with your weirdest, most invading questions ever, and you guys sent some pretty good ones. Rachel asks, what's your favorite tampon brand? Honestly, I actually do have a favorite tampon brand. It is the really colorful packaging. I believe there's a U on it. Why am I pretending like I totally did not pull one out for you guys? This is what it looks like. They're mini, and you pull them apart so that they get to their real size, and then you use it, and you're done. And it's awesome, because it's so portable, and it's cute, and it's colorful, and if you were a stick of butter, what is the first inanimate object you would rub against? I would definitely rub myself against a cold, hard, shiny, white marble surface top because it's so cute and so trendy at the moment. Ask Claudia, how does this make you feel? Where the hell is your boyfriend tag with Jonah Green? That is the video that I recently filmed and that is also the video that had issues with the footage so that will need to be refilmed. Apologies for the inconvenience, but it's coming. Who is your actor crush? Lexi, how often would you say we stalk Blake Lively on Google Images? Like once a month, maybe once every three weeks. It's a routine. What is your favorite emoji? This one, right here. It's so freaking cute and I'm so glad that it's summertime because I will have more excuses to use it. Are you going to VidCon? Yes, I am! And I might possibly also have a meetup. I'm not really sure yet. But I will be going, of course, because VidCon is so much fun and I'm so excited to meet everyone that's gonna be there. Boobs or butts? You know, I will say I do appreciate a nice breast, but I think I'd have to say I'm a butts guy. If you could choose to change your hair color to a funky color for a day, what color would you choose? Well, figuring I've already done purple hair, I would have said purple, but since I've already done that, I think it would be so cool to bleach my entire head and dye it like a teal, like a pastel teal color. Oh, so pretty. Would you hire someone to pick your nose for you? I thought long and deeply about this question and I'd have to say no because I've realized that I actually really enjoy picking my nose. It's really fun. That might be TMI, but picking my nose is really fun and yeah. What is the weirdest thing you've ever done in front of Jonah and don't lie? I asked Jonah today what is the weirdest thing I've done in front of him and you know I've done a lot of weird things in front of him, so I can't really think of like the number one top weird thing. Um, but one of the first things that I remember doing in front of him is back when I lived at home, one of our neighbor's cats was really annoying because at like 4 a.m. every single night, he'd make the weirdest noise right outside of my bedroom and my brother's like bedroom window. I kid you not, it sounded like some weird dying baby slash old lady shriek. I don't really know, it's really creepy, but I used to do it to Jonah all the time, like right straight up in his ear and he would hate it. If you guys want to hear it, I'll do it for you right now. This is going to be really embarrassing, but I'm just going to do it. Uh, Wait. Uh, <laughs> I need to practice. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, uh, I kid you not. Every single night. How to deal with period pains. Um, actually, I'm going to bring something over real quick. I rarely ever use like any type of pills or, you know, Advil or anything like that just because I don't really like taking medication a lot, but I swear by Thermacare. <laughs> this one specifically is for joint pain, which really has nothing to do with periods. But anyways, they're basically like giant stickers that have these little things on them that heat up. I know that I could buy like a heating pad, like an electric one. I have yet to invest in one of those because my periods really didn't start hurting until like this year, I would say. They freaking change your life. You just tape it onto your stomach and it's really hot and warm and fuzzy and you feel like someone's like rubbing your stomach and it's just so great and comforting and I definitely recommend getting Thermacare pads. 
The next question asks, what movie deserves a sequel? I would say that Austin Powers deserves another sequel. I know that there are three movies already. I remember growing up watching those movies and being obsessed with them. And I know that the actors are a lot older now, so it would be a lot different and they'd probably have to recast and it just wouldn't be as good as the original ones. But if somehow we could go back into time and have them film a fourth can you sing your favorite Hannah Montana song with your mouth full of marshmallows? I dare you to do it. I don't have marshmallows, but I do have the next best thing, which is crispy, crunchy jackfruit chips. And I'm going to sing Rockstar by Hannah Montana. It's my favorite song by her. There's saliva everywhere. That concludes today's Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And comment down below what video requests you guys want me to do for the summertime. Uh, because I love hearing what ideas you guys have. To check out more videos, be sure to click the red button above me to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to follow me on social media, then my Twitter and Instagram are right over here to the left. They're just my first and last name. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!